dear students in this class i am going to explain about the compound ammonia it is one of the important compound of nitrogen in this class we are going to learn about the preparation of ammonia and its properties and its uses also slightly now i am going to explain this topic that is ammonia is present in small quantities in air and soil where it is found by the decay of nitrogenous organic matter for example urea urea nh2 co nh2 it absorbs water molecule from atmosphere or from the soil and converts into ammonium carbonate and this ammonium carbonate decomposes into ammonia and h2o another one is co2 in this way when the nitrogenous organic matter decomposes obtaining of ammonia is taking place in the air and in the soil so in this way the ammonia that is present in a small quantities in air and soil next the preparation of ammonia on a small scale ammonia is obtained from ammonium salts which decompose when treated with caustic soda or calcium hydroxide in this method ammonium salts that treating with the caustic soda or calcium hydroxide so what is occurring so observe here now i am taking the ammonium salt i am taking the ammonium sulfate it is one of the ammonium salt now to this i am added caustic soda sodium hydroxide generally known as caustic soda when the ammonium salt is treated with the caustic soda it decomposes into ammonia and in this reaction another compounds also obtaining those are water molecule and na2so4 in this way ammonia is obtaining when the ammonium salts are treating with the caustic soda another example that is i am taking ammonium chloride two moles to this i am adding calcium hydroxide when the ammonium chloride reacts with the calcium hydroxide so to form nh3 along with water molecule and ca cl2 here also ammonium salt when it is treated with calcium hydroxide it decomposes into ammonia so this is the method about the manufacturing of ammonia in a small scale in the laboratory so next method is industrial method in the industrial method we can prepare the ammonia in a large quantities for that generally we are using the hebes process now we will go to hebes process now flowchart for the manufacture of ammonia in the hebes process in this flowchart here two pumps are there one is for the passing of hydrogen gas and the one is for the passing of nitrogen gas these two gases are passing through this pumps here those two are mixing together and entering into the compressor room in this compressor room 20 mega pascals of pressure or 200 atmospheres of pressure is applying on that mixture of gases and thus that mixture of gases combining together under this pressure 
and that mixture of gases moving through this pump and entering into the catalyst room. So here and that mixture of gases approximately to 700 of Kelvin of temperature is applied and in this catalyst room two substances are there one is iron oxide another one is Al2O3 and K2O. Under these conditions those mixture of gases combining together and converting into the liquid ammonia. So now the three substances one is nitrogen another one is hydrogen another one is the ammonia those three are so passing through this pump and entering into the container finally in this container liquid ammonia is obtained so the remaining two gases which are unreacted those two gases and now passing through this pump entering into the pump room and from this again they are so moving towards the catalyst room again they are reacting here and again they are converting into the ammonia and finally liquid ammonia is obtaining in this container room so from this container room we can collect the ammonia in a liquid form this is about the manufacturing of ammonia in the Hebus process this is about the flowchart for the manufacture of ammonia on a large scale NH3 is manufactured by Hebus process in the Hebus process nitrogen gas is taken to this hydrogen gas is added these two are reacting with each other to form ammonia and for this reaction enthalpy change of a fusion is equals to minus 46.1 kilojoules per mole this is about the chemical reaction is occurring in the Hebus process nitrogen gas reacts with the hydrogen gas to form ammonia and on the basis of this negative enthalpy value slightly we can say it is an a exothermic chemical reaction it is an exothermic chemical reaction and according to Richard case principle high pressure would favor the formation of ammonia because in the left side the number of moles of nitrogen is equals to 1 the number of moles of hydrogen is equals to 3 in the right side the number of moles of ammonia is equals to 2 as compared to the total number of moles of products in the right side the total number of moles of reactants more 1 plus 3 equal to 4 this is total number of moles of all the reactants more than that of total number of moles of products that's why according to Lichatria's principle high pressure would favor the formation of ammonia and it is an exothermic chemical reaction that's why there is no need to give any heat energy for the formation of ammonia in the Hebus process but at lower temperatures the chemical reaction rate is very very low that's why optimum temperature is providing for the formation of ammonia from two gases that optimum temperature is equals to approximately 700 kelvins and the next one is High pressure is would favor the formation of ammonia already discussed. The pressure is equals to 200 atmospheres. 200 atmospheres of pressure is applied for the formation of ammonia from these two gases. And one of the catalyst is also using. That catalyst is one is iron oxide. Along with iron oxide 
two substances also using those two substances are K2O and Al2O3. This mixture is using as a catalyst. It enhances the rate of a chemical reaction. And this is about the Haber's process. Again, I am saying the optimum conditions for the production of ammonia in the Haber's process are temperature approximately 700 Kelvin, pressure approximately 200 atmospheres, catalyst iron oxide and K2O Al2 O3. Next, we will go to physical and chemical properties of ammonia. Now the physical properties of ammonia. First one, ammonia is a colorless gas with the pungent order and freezing point is equal to 195.2 Kelvin. Melting point is equal to 239.7 Kelvin. Its melting point and boiling points are very high because in the solid and liquid states it associated through hydrogen bonds. In the solid and liquid states it is associated through hydrogen bonds as in the case of water and that accounts for its higher melting points and boiling points than expected on the basis of its molecular mass. So when we are, we are expecting some melting points and boiling points on the basis of molecular mass, but the real original values are very high because it is associated through hydrogen bonds in the solid and the liquid states and its structure is trigonal pyramidal shape and nitrogen that is a central atom around this one three hydrogen atoms are so bonded through a single bond and at the central atom one lone pair of electrons is there and bond angle is equal to 107.8 degrees and bond length is equal to 101.7 picometers and it is soluble in water so easily soluble in water ammonia these are the physical properties of ammonia now we will discuss about the chemical properties of ammonia now the chemical properties of ammonia first one is it is a weak base for example now i'm taking ammonia molecule in this ammonia molecule Nitrogen has one alone electronic pair. To this ammonia, I am adding the water molecules. When the ammonia is dissolving in the water, it accepts one H plus from H2O and ammonia converts into NH4 plus. And the remaining species in the water molecule is OH minus. So from this, slightly we can say ammonia accepted one H plus from H2O. According to Brown State Law Reasons, it acts as a base. Again, according to Lewis Assets Basis Theorem, nitrogen in the ammonia molecule donating one alone electronic pair to H plus of H2O molecule. So due to this character, ammonia has a basic character. From this reaction, slightly we can say, so ammonia molecule is a weak base because that is accepted H plus from H2O molecule. And the next two chemical property is, it forms ammonium salts with acids. For example, ammonium chloride with HCl and ammonium sulfate with sulfuric acid. And the third chemical property is, as a weak base, it precipitates the hydroxides of many metals from their salt solutions. For example, now I am taking the zinc sulfate. It is in aqueous medium. To this, I am adding ammonium hydroxide solution. So, when the zinc sulfate is reacting with the ammonium hydroxide, it forms ZN. OH taken twice, it is obtaining as a solid phase 
and the another substance is ammonium sulfate it is obtained in aqueous medium so here observe here it is a salt solution of metal it is treated with ammonium hydroxide and one of the precipitate is obtained so this is about the chemical property of ammonia with the salt solution of metal i am taking another example fecl3 it is ferric chloride it is taking in aqueous medium to this i am adding the ammonium hydroxide it is also taking in aqueous medium so both are reacting with each other formation of hydrated ferric oxide in solid state along with the ammonium chloride in aqueous medium here also hydrated oxide is obtained as a precipitate when the salt solution of a metal reacted with ammonium hydroxide or aqueous ammonia solution this is about the chemical reaction between ammonia solution and salt solution of a metal now the next property formation of complex compounds observe here it is ammonia molecule in this ammonia molecule central atom is the nitrogen atom it has one alone electronic pair it has the ability to donate this alone electronic pair to metal ions like copper plus 2 and ag plus it is donating the alone electronic pair to these metal ions and forms a coordinate covalent bond in that way the ammonia molecule forming the complex compounds now i am giving one example co plus 2 plus 4 nh3 gives less to cu nh3 taken four times plus 2 charge so it is the complex compound it has the a specific color that is very very deep blue color c plus 2 it is a d block element it is a metal ion four molecules of an nh3 donating four alone electronic pairs to the copper plus 2 ions and it forms a complex compound with the c plus 2 so before the reaction copper plus 2 ions have blue color after the completing of rea reaction the complex compound so attains very very deep blue color so now i'm giving another example that is ag plus plus 2 nh3 useless to ag nh3 taken twice plus this is also one of the complex compound so here ag plus ions reacts with the 2 nh3 and formation of ag nh3 taken twice plus as a complex compound and next one is uses of ammonia first one is it is used in the manufacturing of nitrogenous fertilizers for example ammonium nitrate urea etc second one is the in the manufacturing of hno3 nitric acid and other organic compounds and the third one is it is used also as a refrigerant it is using also refrigerant so this is about the manufacturing preparation and properties and uses of ammonia